Good afternoon, Jolifer. Good afternoon to po, ma'am. Can you tell me about yourself? I'm Jolifer Mabesa, 24 years old. I'm a single mom and I have two kids. Okay, I have few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? For my children and family needs, ma'am. Okay, why you choose Malaysia when there's a lot of other country? Malaysia is a beautiful country, ma'am. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? I'm a honest and hardworking, physically and mentally fit, ma'am. Okay, may I know what is your educational level? Vocational course po, ma'am. Okay. What is your recent experience? I'm a housemaid and nanny, ma'am. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby you taking care of? My own child, ma'am. Okay. And how about elderly people? No, ma'am. Okay, are you willing to take care of an elderly? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Cooking, mm -hmm. cleaning the house, and gardening, ma'am. Okay, are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relative stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Like what? Adobo, sinigang, ngudo, aldereta. Okay. Hilaga. Mm -hmm. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores, which do you like most? Cleaning the house, ma'am. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother and my sisters, ma'am. Okay. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning. In the, the in your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing abusing your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, I agree, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed in understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics? I am honest and hardworking, ma'am. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I assure you, ma'am, that I finish my contract for my children and family. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulations of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you on any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. 
Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Jolifer, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, number one. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I will continue my work to finish my contract, ma'am. Okay, number two, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Julie Permabesa, 24 years old. I'm a single mom and I have two kids. Okay. Why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I want to help my family and my children and I support to, and to support them. Okay, Jolifer. What do you want to tell the employer who watching your video right now? Sir, madam, choose me. Please choose me because I need I need this job for my family and for my children's needs. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much, Jolifer. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Thank you, ma'am.